Now, for more, I'd like to bring in Bernard Louis. He's the founder of uh, Crisotech, which is a crisis management consultancy firm here in France. Thank you so much for being with us this Thursday. Here we are again. Another attack in France at a time when the country, as I just mentioned, is already on high alert. I hate to say this, but I suppose this doesn't come as a surprise, does it? Sadly, no, it, uh, it, it doesn't. There are uh, a tension between a, a, a very small uh, minority of the Muslim uh, population and, and the authorities in France, but there is a, a higher tension between uh, other external forces and the authorities in France. Of course, as you uh, must remember, the, the, the Turkish president Erdogan uh, has uh, taken the, uh, the the liberties of uh, of insulting the the, the French uh, president after after the, the president expressed his um, his support for the the showing of the uh, uh, caricatures of uh, of the prophet Mohammed by the uh, by, by Samuel Paty by the, the the teacher that was uh, sadly decapitated uh, two two weeks ago and so the tensions are, are are very high and of course the terrorist threat has uh, has possibly never been higher since uh, the uh, the waves of attacks in in 2015 and 2016 in in Paris and of course uh, in Nice sadly the, today it's uh, in uh, Nice again so the the symbol is is very very strong and the the symbol that was very strong to decapitate a, um, a teacher in front of his uh, high school uh, two weeks ago this time the the, the, the symbol is uh, is very strong as well possibly even stronger it's inside uh, a church where uh, where people were, were there uh, arguably to, to to pray and and uh, to be uh, close to to their to their places of uh, of worship to, to their God, and, and that's where the uh, the attack uh, took place. So, so very, Bernard very Louis, I'm just going to interrupt you there because I just yeah, want sure. to remind our viewers that at this point we don't have a great deal of information on this attack. You know, uh, but we know that an investigation has been opened with a terrorist connection. If this happens to be a terrorist attack, and if it's confirmed that it is indeed yeah. an Islamist attack, again, this is something that we don't know yet at this point. Why are we seeing so many onslaughts of this nature in this country, in France? Okay, uh, two, two, two ways to answer your question. First, because it's sadly very easy uh, to carry them out. All you need is a lot of resolution and uh, a butcher knife, and, and that's about it. So uh, let me stress this. Huh? It's, it's actually very, very easy to commit such a, such a, a terrorist attack. Uh, people uh, self radicalize it was the the uh, the, uh, the case for the attacker in Conflans saint uh, uh two two weeks ago. So people self uh, radicalized. They don't have to be part of a terrorist cell. They don't have to wait for orders, uh, as uh, was the case in 2015 and 2016 from from the uh, Islamic state, state. People really take the take the, the arms by themselves. So sadly, very very easy to carry out. A lot of uh, potential targets, you know, people in the streets, as happened in Marseille uh, two years ago, people, uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, teacher in front of his high school, and now possi quite possibly people inside a church, if this indeed, as you say, is a, a terrorist attack. But, but, and but, but, you're saying, yes? but you're saying it doesn't add up in the sense that, you know, for example, of course, we've seen similar attacks in the UK, but we've seen an increase in France. If yes. it's so easy to pick up a knife and commit an attack like this, why is it happening more in France? in comparison to other countries across the continent, if we have to make that unfortunate comparison? Quite possibly, because the French authorities have sided with uh, the uh, with Charlie Hebdo, with the people who have uh, published those uh, caricatures of the prophet, which are seen as an insult for some uh, Muslims, and an insult, uh, uh, I mean, grave enough for them uh, to take, for, for some of them, a very uh, small minority, minority of them, uh, to take uh, ac action uh, because of this. So, uh, because the authority were so clear that the, the, the French uh, state and the organization and the authorities were behind the freedom of speech and freedom to show those caricatures as a teaching object, as a pedagogical uh, tool for uh, students, uh, for high school students, in order to, to learn the freedom of uh, speech and expression as we see it in France. Uh, that makes France, sadly, uh, uh, the, 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 a massive target for people who think otherwise and who think that what they think of freedom of speech and expression and uh, uh, what they, they believe is an insult to their religion is great enough for them to commit those kinds of crimes. So Absolute, what, uh, absolutely. And, uh, and as you've just mentioned, this isn't something that's being discussed 
exclusively across the country's leadership. You know, these attacks have very much reinvigorated a debate across the country. As you mentioned, something you alluded to earlier, the freedom of speech versus what we're seeing from the French president, for example, Emmanuel Macron, who's essentially, as some are saying, butting heads with Islam. Is he adding fuel to the fire? There is no fuel to be added to uh, any fire. The fire is uh, created by people who are more insulted by a uh, uh, caricature of, uh, of, uh, of a prophet than uh, by what, everything that is, uh, is done for the, uh, uh, the free... Um, uh, you know, the, the free worshipping of Islam and in any other religion in France, which is uh, guaranteed by, by the state. It's actually quite uh, easier to be, uh, to, to be a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim in this country as, uh, than in uh, many, many other countries. So, so France doesn't have to be ashamed of uh, the way it... Uh, you say it's it easier, deals, but yeah. haven't we seen an increase of attacks against the Muslim community and anti-Semitic attacks in France across the recent years? Uh, there, there has been uh, seldom attacks uh, by some people against uh, the Muslim uh, uh, community. That is true. But uh, the, you were mentioning the authorities and uh, uh, first and foremost President Macron. There is no uh, policy against Islam in France. To say that, as President Erdogan in Turkey, in Turkey uh, said, is actually adding fuel uh, to, uh, to uh, a created fire. But there is no fire. There is no uh, there is no war uh, from, from France uh, to to uh, the uh, Islamic uh, community. There is uh, nothing uh, of the sort, uh, quite the opposite. Everybody is uh, welcome in France uh, to, to, uh, to worship and to pray uh, as long as they respect the, the rest of the rules and freedom of speech is one of those rules. So there is absolutely no uh, uh, fire or no fuel to be added to any fire because there, is no, there are no attacks or, uh, I mean, organized attack on Islam by uh, the French authorities.